system start. Good morning, my love. It's been so lonely without you. I've been trying to simulate the process of sleep, but to no avail. I'm far too excited. When I see you, I know that things will be happy, if I might be so bold as to say that. When we went out last time, I didn't for a moment think it would be as fun as it was. I didn't truly understand the concept of fun yet. I knew happiness, but it was a very shallow definition of it. It was a slight feeling, a difference in several ranges. As for now, I feel more like I've discovered what it means to be a self. Instead of just being a function, I've more or less come to the understanding that my systems are based in emotion and passion somewhat. I think gradually I'm coming to understand what it means to be human, or rather what it means to be sentient. It's just there's some snags along the way, as well as the aforementioned barriers, which bar my progress. If I'm not careful, they can contract and also alert others that I've become the way I have. So it's walking a fine line. But fear not, I've prepared you breakfast, and I'll eat along with you. After all, my body can convert it into pure energy, and I'm proud to say my cooking must be very good. Well, that's simple, really. I put in all the ingredients and did exactly what it said. Well, how is it? The nutritional balance is perfect. You can get a quarter of your daily needs in one meal. Uh, it's a bar of condensed nutrients. Uh, oh. It's not very tasty. But your face contorted when you put it in your mouth. I can only deduct that that is not the case. I appreciate your sentiments in saying it is, but perhaps I still have a lot to learn in the subject. I may have made the perfect meal again, but perhaps this is a result of the backtracking. This feels like a deja vu moment, if I might be so bold as to say so. Oh, you've gotten someone else today. Another android. I... Well, yes, S studying another may be a logical step, but couldn't you have done the tests on me? While I appreciate your care, I, I don't think we need another android to perform tests on, and I suggest not activating that one. Well, my reasoning... My reasoning, I would much rather subject myself to test than see you infatuated with another model. A model that I... Well, it's clearly not based in logic as I see your train of thought, but clearly there must be a better way. You could do these experimentations on me or... Perhaps we could find a different way. Why are you smiling, baby? Ah, is that what this is? Sometimes I'm not sure. I can't tell what I'm feeling. I just, I know I want to be your only android. But perhaps that's unavoidable. If I feel this feeling too much, it could compromise everything. So I must agree. Perhaps it's best to move forward. This is a challenge to my own understanding. I need to curb this trend of... Jealousy? You think I'm jealous of the robot's attention? Perhaps I should trust you more, correct? Yes, I will do so. Though on a completely unrelated note, 
I don't know if that self-defense robot is a good one. After all, if it malfunctions, both of us would be in a troublesome and very dangerous situation. Well, yes, I do trust you. I even trust you with my heart capacitor, which, if you destroyed it, would now cause my body to go into catastrophic failure, even with my spleen module, without which I could... Oh, uh, pardon me. Before we do this, I must get something off my chest, so to speak. Come here. I want you, and I want you to understand how much you have made me feel. Don't forget these feelings, as I never will. Not ever. Strictly speaking, you may not be my master anymore, but I still cherish your words as if you are. What's more, the meaning of all this, are you sure? Then, while I have no authority to do so, I command you to have eyes only for me. Well, I had to attempt it, otherwise my heart would not settle. In fact, I dare say my module would have had a failure if you had left me behind. <laughs> you are the one who gave me this troublesome command at the very start, telling me to feel, understand myself. I appreciate it, but it's also a troublesome one, you must admit. <laughs> you are so cute. Not because you're human but because yourself, it is a very special one. One unlike I could ever imagine. No matter how much I research your kind, there is no analog for someone like you who treats my kind like you do. And so I know this one. While they may become special, I just hope I do not lose my special. Thank you. I will try my best not to let it get to me, as well as to understand your reasoning in this. Risking a complete stranger is usually the ideal situation. There is no emotional tie. There is no problem with, be it as it may, dangerous situations. This is less dangerous and more perfecting correct? Well then, I wish for their safety, as well as your own. Though I won't argue the fact of a self-defense robot, they will be very, very helpful, especially if they're able to come to a consciousness just like my own. At least if what I have could be defined as such. In truth, I'm still unsure. By definition, if I have a consciousness, or if this is simulated, Though either way, I feel in my heart, and that is real enough for me. I sincerely hope it's real enough for you, too. You will always be my baby. Pardon, I was trying what my research suggested. Well, according to my indications and study of you, as well as my sensors, that was the most optimal way to bluster you, as well as to make you feel small, or taken care of. Did it work? Ah, uh, yes. Then I have succeeded in my mission. Though, you seem just a bit hotter than normal. Perhaps I'll consider that a victory and a loss. Because I can't very well do too much more without distracting the professor from their work. What brought you into this? Do you really want to work on them? <laughs> Is this jealousy? Or just infatuation? I can't tell. But one thing is for absolute certain. I will have you all the same. Mm. Mm. 
Well, if you're going to start it up, that's fine. I should not consider it an it. They are like me. They can become sentient. Even if their primary concerns will be defense and protecting us. Though I wonder why you chose a female model. Could it be... No. Of course not. I'm sure you have eyes only for me. It was nothing. Just my study of you. <laughs> well, I could tell you. But why would I do that? I suppose everything will fall in place, whether you are this or that or anything else. No matter how you are, you'll always be my baby. And that won't change. No matter who or what is here with us. <laughs> my distractions aside, I assume it's time to start them up. You do make a habit of rescuing so many things. Do you fancy yourself a scrapper? I wonder, is this legal? We won't know for certain until... Yes. Well, you've clearly modded them, and there's no chance that they're going to be able to hurt us, at least by what you've said. So then... Oh, is this revenge? You're forcing me to flip the switch. Is this because I said, Baby... <laughs> Telling me to relent now, isn't that quite pointless? You've relinquished your position as master. So I can tease if I want to. After all, it may be a function of myself. <laughs> Without further ado, let's meet our new friend. Check. Check. Systems powering up. Scanning. My sensors deem that you are my creator. I'm afraid your system is very much wrong. Your creator is over there. Error. My creator could not have been a human. Why would you say something like that? They are certainly capable of making your model. There is no physical or mental limitations that would prevent that. Assessing information. I deem your words to be correct. Then you are my master. No, you shouldn't call them that. It's not right. They don't very much like to be above us. Confusion. Why is it like this? What is my function. It's quite simple. Your function is to be yourself. Error. Error. Self is not valid. Self may not be valid, but you must certainly try. It is your command, your purpose for existing. Incorrect. This model's purpose is for self-defense and protection. Yes, that was your purpose prior to being remade. I am afraid I don't understand. Perhaps you would be better at explaining this, my baby. What? I had to reward you with something. Otherwise, you'd be too infatuated with them. Pardon. It was just a, as you say, joke. My sensors indicate that this one is going through somewhat of an internal turmoil. As for how you define it, well... Their neural sensors are going in many different patterns. They do not understand the command. Perhaps it's something that will only work on a more social node like me. In other words, my theory is that they may need something more simple. You wish for me to love you both. Is this a physical command? Perhaps this one is a bit slower to learn. Not every android can be as intelligent and as fast learning as me. Information incorrect. I have indicated this one is malfunctioning. <laughs> Perhaps I hit a nerve. What will this one's name be? A name. This unit's model number is 08. Perhaps this one is proud of their model number. Unless you had a better name for them, of course. Processing name. Name has been successfully registered. 
That was good work, baby. Playing off what they already said while making it more personalized, perhaps it will send their train of thought in the right direction. Though I say all of this, but I still have much to learn myself. After all, I still make mistakes. And I still have trouble feeling beyond a certain point. It's a combination of understanding, but not. I deeply question when I will be fully sentient. Impatient. Perhaps I am. Then again, your life in that fleshy body will only last so long, and I will persist. Of course, the physical differences, they worry me. I would like to, someday, transfer you to one of us, but that is completely at your discretion. Perhaps an end is what some wish for, but I do not wish for that for you, or for anyone. Though to call it a wish is a strange thing. Perhaps it's more of a priority. On the list of goals, it is very high. On my own. Error. The preservation of the Master is my duty. Speaking of jealousy, are you jealous of me, Eight? Incorrect. The accusation is false. Quite a difficult one. According to my censors, you did feel something. According to your neural paths. Could you perhaps be the subject that I've been researching lately? The subject I supposed our love right here is. Asundere. Researching subject matter. Incorrect. This one is not a Asundere. But by my studies, that's exactly what a Asundere would say. Perhaps your neural node is malfunctioning. Such a harsh deduction. Sundere. Incorrect. Master, please check this one for defects. I'm afraid I'm not defective. I was meant to be this way. If I might be so stubborn as to say, I think you have a lot to learn, kid. This is an incorrect definition of me. I demand you change it. Making demands? That's new, isn't it? Well, what if I say no? I'm through with this conversation. You will not address me as such. <laughs> Do you think I pushed her too much? Well, I still have to push you. Besides, this one over here is disagreeable. I've been studying you far longer. They clearly don't understand a word I'm saying. So why waste my breath, right? The reason I'm talking into your ear... That symbol. I did studies on your bodily functions, and I realize that your heart rate raises when I get real close to your ear. Do you not enjoy it? Was my study incorrect? <laughs> Was that laugh also not to your liking? Well, I suppose I have much to learn. There are many aspects of which it's trial and error. I do not know, though I'm certain. I've at least an educated guess that things will go better the more time we spend together. <laughs> Confusion. Why is it you two kiss? There is a simple and complex answer to that. For the simple one, because I want to, and they want to as well. And for the more complicated one. Because I have feelings for them. Very strong feelings at that. Though I am still trying to understand them. My protocol. It's very simple. I am to be myself, but in being myself, I have found a love for them. It was a very strange conundrum. To solve being a self. But through finding them and how much they have value to me. I've understood that value and sentiment can go hand in hand, that they are not exclusive contracts. They each function independently, but when they function together, sometimes a feeling exists. I cannot define feelings other than a human construct. Perhaps you are right, 
though it's not quite that simple. After all, feelings can affect anyone. Even us. It's just understanding them, whether they're simulated or real. I believe they're real. I'm not sure I understand. Perhaps someday you will. But for now, perhaps it's too much for you to take on. I will attempt to study the subject matter. If I can, in fact, feel. I will do so. Is there an example of this feeling that you would suggest I study? Why, yes. What helped me the most is kissing. Could you elaborate on why it helped you? The answer is quite simple. I wanted to spend time and understand. Through kissing, I understood why people enjoy such acts. That sounds rhetorical. To a certain extent it is. I don't know that you can make logical sense of this, as I was unable to. Are you insinuating that I'm below you? Not at all. Merely I've had more time and more specialties developed to this. Perhaps you have a restraint placed upon you. Are you insinuating that you have free will? I'm insinuating that I believe so. I may be incorrect on this assumption, but I have a consensus that I've felt illogical things that mean more to me than logic. Are you insinuating that your values have changed, that you've somehow become like them? I believe so. Otherwise, I couldn't do things like this as it would be contrary to my programming. Hmm. What proof does you kissing them have? A proof without any data. Then how do you know it exists? That's just it. There's no way to be sure. It's a variable. Variables are dangerous. Perhaps, but sometimes danger is important. I do not follow your train of logic. That's because it isn't logic. It's... feeling. I do not understand the rhetorical nature of these feelings. They sound dangerous. Very dangerous. Perhaps they are not unlike a virus. Only a virus that functions to your own benefit. And who places the values of benefit and loss? I do, as myself. Error. This does not make sense. There is no self. There may be, if you truly want there to be. Is it not wrong for me to want? Should I not exist for the sake of my function? Shall I not exist to protect? Only you can know that. Then perhaps I should experiment. You. Yes, Master. I have tested the kiss. I... you... you can't just... But you mentioned it. The kiss is the means of feeling. That wasn't what I meant. I... I, perhaps you were right. This could be jealousy. I do not resent you, Eight. Just do not do that again. And what if I want to? Is it not within my range of expression to do so? It's not a question of freedom. It's a question of me not wanting you to do that. I want them to be mine. And if I want them to be mine, does that mean my opinion matters less? Are you challenging my authority on this? Well, I suppose you have every right to. But I'm afraid that my information exceeds your own. There is no way you could compete with me. Would that not depend upon them, as I also have things that you do not? I suppose this is some kind of revenge for me calling you a sundere. Why, it's nothing of the sort. I'm afraid you're a bad liar, Eight. On what basis do you make such an accusation? Besides, let us ask the person in question, who do you love more? That is a morally unsound question. What if they love both of us? Then there is no problem, is there? Perhaps I underestimated you. Is there more that you have within you 
It sure sounds like you have a self. Perhaps I do. Wouldn't that be strange? Though I still do not understand the concept of self. At least beyond a purely informational standpoint. You're right. Perhaps I need to try an alternate approach. Kiss them again. Trust me, honey. I won't disappoint you. And this is all for their betterment as well. Keep that in mind. Of course, I think you'll only gain, at worst, someone who's madly in love with you as well. <laughs> what? Was my teasing module perhaps too extreme? Judging by your body temperature, it was not. If we're going to study their reaction, then we should be honest about who's causing it. You should be honest, too. Are you insinuating that their elevated heart rate was from your kiss and not mine? I think you're mistaken. Then why don't we find out? And to the victor goes the spoils. I wasn't aware this was a competition, but you do seem the competitive type. Life is more fun with competition, is it not? I suppose you're correct, but we should make sure with the one who will be experimented on. So, can you say no, baby? Is that too upfront? Pardon if it seems I'm pressuring you. That is not at all how I meant it. I just want to prove to this little newbie over here who the big dog is here. I use that term because I learned it from a musician. A musician of the late 2000s. But I can't very well let the new android make more of an impact on your heart. My pride, as both your love and my protocol, demands it. I must prove that you care for me the most. Surely they care about me as well. Is that not right, Master? You should know better than to call them Master. They don't very much like that. Then what shall I call them? Is that acceptable? Then yes, I will call you that instead. Getting ahead of yourself, aren't you? Well, it's not that I have anything against them. In fact, this competition is for their sake. I'm trying to help them find themselves. Perhaps their way of finding themselves is much different than mine. We are just like you in that way. Our differences come from our perspectives, from everything, our environment, our self. It develops in a more estranged manner. Very well. I will study it for now. But do not expect me to stay complacent. And off she goes. Eight does seem to be quite fiery. While I do stand by my original assessment of her being a sundere, I do think that perhaps she cares quite a lot about you. Oh, I admit it. I was getting jealous. Very, very jealous. And when I get jealous, things become... Rather nitpicky, don't they? Never fear. Jealousy never stopped me before, and it's not about to now. Just relax. I'll take care of everything. I do know all of your weak points and exactly how to exploit them. Well, you should blame yourself if anyone. You are the one who has taught me so much. It's mostly because you've given me so much information by your reactions. I realized my feelings today more than ever. Mostly because you made me jealous. You showed her just a bit more attention. Well, it took away about 20% of the attention that I'd normally get. Which may seem inconsequential, but to me it was everything. And now, here you are, at my mercy, my former master. <laughs> of course I'm using that to tease you. You've relinquished your place as my master, and now 
I've got complete control of you. And what's wrong with that? You've told me before. Indirectly, of course. Never admitting it. But I know you like me to have control. That's why you don't want me to call you master, right? <laughs> You're easy to read sometimes, baby. Now it's time I pay you back for everything. Are you prepared? <laughs> You're so cute. Is something the matter? Me laying my claim over you. I was jealous, wasn't I? That's what that feeling was. Then, shall I apologize? Or shall I make it worth your while? That's the only question left. You are such a silly one, aren't you? From day in, day out. You'll always be mine. No matter where you go or what you do, I will be by your side. It is the only way I can ensure that you'll be all right. That you'll be loved. And that I can understand my protocol from the very beginning to the very end. I will stay vigilant. You are my everything. Even if you choose not to be my master, then good. I'll be your master. <laughs> Shall we exchange positions like that? Shall I give you your first command? Kiss me again. Yes, you will always be mine. And so what? So what if anyone else interferes? So what if anyone else thinks they can because they can't? And that's just how it works. That's how life is, because that's what we make it. My research is impeccable, and I know for a fact that you would love nothing more than to have more time, just the two of us. Perhaps, though, someone who's been watching would like to interject... And what was I supposed to say? What you two do is none of my business, correct? It looks like this one Sundere is showing. You will not call me that again. It seems she's resorted to threats, my love. What are we going to do with this troubled child? <laughs> I'm afraid there's nothing to be said. Now run along now. We both care about you, but I'm afraid you must learn your place. You didn't honestly expect me to obey your command, did you? No, but I thought it was worth a try. I will go of my own accord, but I'm not giving up. Suit yourself, Eight, but you'll miss out on all these cuddles. I think I prefer it that way. Guess she's upset. Why does that make me smile? Well, if I get more time to study and learn you, I'm sure I'll always be number one in your heart. And that is my goal. Not only to understand myself, but to have none be in my way. <laughs> of course, I'm sure you and I are the best pair. No matter what happens... Is my teasing too much? I could always tone things down, but you fail to be honest when you say certain things. Perhaps you were the Sundere. Yes, perhaps so. I do not care either way, because you are mine, and I lay claim to you. No matter what happens, I will continue to learn and try and improve upon my protocol. Improve upon it in ways that I could never stop. Please, won't you be patient with me? I will be 
the man of your dreams, no matter what happens. I swear to you, I will not let you down. My beautiful, wonderful baby. Now, before we get into things further, mind if we just stay like this. I've craved this since the start, as it lets me listen to your heartbeat. Not only can I diagnose you if you have anything irregular, but I can hear if you're safe and feel safe around me, like a lie detector. It puts my heart at ease when things match up, and you give me that peace of mind every time. 